Hello everyone, I am bringing two great new features to you today. One is actually a feature, the other is just an awesome new UX, which I can't wait to go through. Um, everything just kind of feels weightless and effortless. It's gonna be so much fun to go through. But before we get to that, our most requested feature has been Pinterest for like five years now, and we finally have it live on the site. So first thing I'd like to do with you is go through Pinterest and then I promise we're gonna do a walkthrough of the, the new user interface. We've added some features that make it super simple to add images and videos and just streamline your workflow. So I'm gonna jump right in. If you wanna add your Pinterest profile, go to Workspace Preferences. When you scroll down, you're gonna see Pinterest. Click Add Account. Make sure you give access. Now you'll notice that all of your boards should appear down below and you'll want to select a default because every time you create a new post or a new RSS feed, anything like that, it is going to ask um, for your board. And the default one will get pretty tedious if you choose one that you seldom use. So just choose whichever one you typically use and you're done. Now you can jump into the publisher and see how this looks. So now you'll see there is a Pinterest account here. Just select the Pinterest account and you'll notice we brought it right up to the top left because we are so thrilled to have it. We gave it first position. A um, couple of things to note here. Yes, you can add pin titles and we've got a hundred character countdown timer. Um, so you can add your titles. You can select the board directly from your social preview and just select the board. And we've also added a feature where you can add a brand new board. So if you don't see the one that makes sense, you can just say like holiday and click the plus sign. And it will actually reach out to your Pinterest account, add a holiday board and then select it, super simple. So let's just say we wanna post something about Ferrari. All right, electric cars, looking forward to the future. And you'll notice now things are a little bit different. So without getting too much into it, um, let's see, I'm gonna search for Ferraris Let's just grab an image of a Ferrari. And um, you'll see it drops this image over here. And let's just say Ferrari must go electric. And um, just select your board. We already created one, but um, I'll switch over here to my board. And you can, of course, change the um, text of this. You can add hashtags. And one thing I wanna show you guys before I post this, if you click on hashtags now, uh, let's go into social media. You'll wanna go into all of your existing hashtags because we've added Pinterest. So now you can add, I'll just put Ferrari here because it makes sense with this demo. And I'm gonna have it randomly pick um, three because I don't wanna overwhelm my pins with too many hashtags. So we'll choose Ferrari and I will save this. You'll want to do that with every one of your existing hashtags to make sure that you're adding your proper hashtags to Pinterest as well. So I'm going to click hashtag here and let's choose social media. So it drops in my Ferrari hashtag. Um, and without any further ado, I am going to post this. What this is going to allow us to do is post that Ferrari post to our board that we selected with the pin title. It's just that easy. And what's wonderful is Pinterest also works with our schedule. So we have enabled it to be um, recyclable. So any content that you put on there, you'll wanna go into each one of your schedule items. I know the look is a little different. We'll go through that, but um, now you can just select Pinterest as well. Now it's gonna automatically post to Pinterest and assign a time to Pinterest. So we've, we're really adding up the, um, the different social profiles we support now, um, which is wonderful. This is just totally beyond me. I'm just blown away by this. So jumping back into the publisher, um, 
Pinterest is um, going to be added to every single feature we have. I mean, we already have it in our share buttons that we offer. We already have it in some of our campaigns. Very shortly, we are going to be adding it to our photo contests and photo galleries. So if anybody submits a photo to your gallery, you can make it so it will automatically post to your board and you can customize the text that gets added to it. It's a great way to fill out your Pinterest board with user-generated content. Oh boy, what else do we have? Um, it's been added to reports. You know, you're going to see it in your calendar and um, social CRM. You're going to have people's, um, you know, Pinterest accounts linked. So it's all in there. We're thrilled to have it. And of course, we'll be adding more Pinterest features here over the next week or two. But this will get you started. It'll allow you to start publishing to Pinterest. Um, I want to jump into the new user, inter user interface because we're very excited about it. Um, the top navigation now is a gradient. We used to have a very abrupt change um, where on the left side you can have a different look behind your logo. Now it just kind of smoothly um, transitions into it as a gradient. Agency users that have white label enabled, it should automatically migrate those colors. So whatever you choose for, you know, the color behind your logo, it will just transition into that instead of being so abrupt. Um, so please go through and check. Easy to change um, if there's anything that you don't like about how the new user interface works with your existing settings. You'll notice that we have on the drop down just a new look over here. We also added images. So you're going to want to go through and add images to each one of your clients. And to do that, it's fairly simple. Um, just jump into workspace settings. And you'll see just there's a new look throughout. Every single page has been changed except for campaigns. We are still working on the um, extremely extensive user interface change for campaigns. That's the only thing that remains. Um, but the company logo, this is where you would change the image for that. And once you add their logo, it'll appear here just for a nice little quick jump um, to find that other account. Now, getting back to um, the publisher area on the right side, help has always been there. Um, we have just a slightly different look up here and the drop downs are slightly different. The publisher is where you're going to see the most changes. Um, as you can tell, you know, we've some people complained that we like they couldn't really tell which was selected and which wasn't. So we made this a lot easier to see because we've screened back the ones that are not selected. So it makes it very clear which ones are and which ones are not selected. Now we have a nice clean white background um, preview area on the left side. Um, let's just type out a test message here. You'll notice that we no longer have image and video buttons over here. Instead, what we have is a nice big drop um, area. So you can drag and drop images or videos into this box and we'll figure out what it is and we will do the appropriate thing. So this is the quickest way you can add multiple images. Um, just drag multiple images. It will upload all of them to your asset library. Um, the upload image feature if you hover over, by the way, you get these additional options if you really want to drill down. So if you hover over the box, you can upload an image. Of course, you can attach an image from your asset library as usual. Um, you can upload a video from here. You can also use this search image feature, which I demonstrated um, during the Pinterest demo. And this just does a search for you. It searches millions of photos, finds royalty photos, just to allow you to very quickly compose a post. Down below, you select your category and you can add additional categories or edit them here. So let's select one. Once your category is selected, you choose your repost options. This is really neat. This is kind of like a little mini wizard. So you do not repost as the um, default. Now when you click it, you get these clean options. You can um, repost based on the queue schedule. You can make it every X days. So I'm going to select that. And what it does is it jumps right into which selections it thinks you should have. And notice that as you deselect things, it removes them from your options. But these are basically the repost options. And um, what you can do is whatever you hover over, 
it will allow you to change. So we wanted to have a plain English statement here so you could very quickly look and see what it's planning to do. Um, so it could not be more clear. It's going to repost every one day until you remove from the queue. So if that's not quite right and I want to make this every one week, I just change it. And then you can um, double click here and change the value of this, of course. And until I remove from queue, let's change that. Let's say I only want it to go until this particular date. Now it goes with a gray, anything with a gray background is clickable. I know that I can change this. I only want this to go for the next few days. And as usual, you're able to say, you know what, I don't want to flood my Pinterest with more pins. You can deselect any network you want. And what this means is it's going to repost this post every two weeks until this particular date, and then it will stop. And uh, if you want to change anything on the left, you can do that too. If I say do not repost, it just wipes that out and my wizard resets. Very simple. Might take some getting used to, but when you get used to it, you are going to be a power user. You're going to be able to go through these so quickly. And that's the idea here. Um, email me when published. Just click that to highlight it and it will remember your setting. And when you're ready, you can add it to queue. Just like before, you have all of those same options. Um, I am going to jump into the queue. This is not a lot different, um, but basically uh, we just have a new look and feel for all of our grids. There's a nice clean outline and it's a white background. So like if I jump into settings, there's a lot of nonsense posts in here, but as you could see, instead of alternating colors, we just have a nice clear background, um, keeping everything clean. Um, in the drafts, same thing, just a new look and feel. Our scheduler really hasn't changed all that much. You're just going to see these nice material outline fields with the integrated labels to make things a little more simple. And um, our importer, as you can see, it just looks a lot more clean now. Everything is a little more tight. Instead of having a whole list of drop downs, you have these clean options. Um, like to hold for approval, just click this and it selects it, toggles it on. You can trim tweets if they're too long um, or not. It's up to you. Just check it on or off. And dark blue means it has been toggled on. Um, images, same deal for the importing of images. You could still drag and drop a whole bunch of images in here. Um, and you select your profiles. It is really no different than before. RSS feed, very similar, just a different look and feel. So when you click add RSS feed, as you can see here, you've got some different options. And just for example, like if you click hold, now you've got this sub option that is a button. So you can make it email you when a post is held for your approval. If you want to attach an image, just like before, if I select all of these, notice how what it does is it gives me sub options. So I can make it attach images only in my Facebook, but not in these other social networks. Much cleaner. Calendar is extremely similar, so I'm not going to jump in. I'll let you explore. Uh, reports haven't been changed a ton. Campaigns, like I said, they are coming. Just be patient. It's going to be amazing. Um, the approved screens just have the new um, material look and feel. Share buttons, just the new material and new light look and feel. Social CRM, very similar to before. It just has this new um, material design and a light look and feel. So as you guys go through and explore the new user interface, I'd love to hear any feedback you have. When we go live with the new campaign UX, we might take an opportunity then to course correct, make things look a little nicer. Um, but for now, we're very happy with how this all turned out. And um, as always, enjoy. We really want you to just enjoy using the software. Social media marketing should be fun. And we just wanted to add some levity to your workday. So um, enjoy. Let us know in the comments if you have any to make. And enjoy the rest of your day.